If you're coming to the Yucatan or the Riviera Maya, you will probably see houses like these. These are traditional houses that have been used for hundreds of years. Now we thought it would be interesting to show you just how these houses are built and what they look like inside and why people still use these houses in this time. The process begins by selecting some timbers from the local woods. These are tropical hardwoods that are resistant to local bugs and termites. To select the positioning of the house, four timbers are laid out and four post holes are dug on the corners. This will depend on what the soil conditions are or if it's a rocky surface. The corner posts are cut with a slot so they can put the cross beams across these posts. The process of building a Mayan home takes about two weeks in general and is done by family and friends. Once the main four posts are in place, the holes are filled and compacted so it's nice and tight and everything is square. The next process is getting the peak in place and putting all the pieces to the side of the roof. Here you can see smaller pieces that have been bent and curved and tied together, which gives the house the nice oval shape. The next process for the roof is putting the cross pieces. These will support the bundles of thatch material to make up the roof. And here you can see more posts have been added to the walls of the house and the roof is starting to take shape. The next process is to have masonry people put in a short wall and they'll also be putting in a concrete floor. Not all Maya houses have a concrete floor, but more and more these are added because people have the money to do so and government grants. Next, the material arrives for the roof. This is a thatch material made out of palm, which is called a palapa roof in Mexico. It takes roughly about 1,000 pieces of this guano palm to cover the roof. There are two types of roofing materials that are commonly used in the Yucatan of Mexico. This is a type of palm which is called guano and can last up to 20 years. The other type of roofing can last about 3 to 4 years. This is what the roof looks like on the inside. The palm branches are laid over the cross pieces and are not attached with anything. There is no need to use nails, string or wire in this type of roof. When they get up to the peak of the roof, long palm branches are folded over and tucked between two poles. These poles will hold them in place. Now that the roof is done and drying and changing color, the walls have to be done. These are done by cutting small saplings and removing the bark. These pieces for the walls are all hand attached by wire, which goes around the pieces of wood around the house. This is what the house looks like when it's all finished inside. Uh, you have a really artistically done roof. Now there's two types of materials they use, either a grass or this guano, or it's a palm. And inside they would traditionally hang the hammocks between the beams and the whole family would live in a quarter like this. And sometimes you see two houses, one behind the other, that's usually used as a kitchen, so that's a separate utilitarian house. So it's pretty cool that these houses are 100% sustainable, they only cost about $2,000 to build or about two months of salary. So it's a very practical house for living here in Mexico. Now you'll know a little bit more about these houses, why the design has lasted for hundreds of years, and how they're so practical for today. In our article about this project, we're going to talk about some of the Mayan food, uh, also some of the uh, gallery of all the different styles of these houses and more information so you can know more of the regional things that go on here in the Yucatan and Riviera Maya.